She doesn't have a fever. Nani. Nani, nani, nani. Good morning, 6.54. Jose is washing his toe with antibacterial soap and replace it off and all that jazzness. It kind of looks a little bit more swollen, but it's going to happen. I mean, he just got stabbed basically with a pair of scissors into his nail bed to remove the nails. So it's going to be swollen for a couple of days. So that's why he has ibuprofen. I believe it's called ibuprofen. Yeah. 800 milligrams to reduce the swollenness and the pain. So that's that. I made soup. For, I was going to make soup for Stephanie for her cough, but she didn't want to. She wants tacos with beans. So that's what I'm going to make her. This is for Jose. Here, i got to give you some mousse next. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Off. I'm going. Drink it. Here, I got it. You're taking too long. I'm scared. Open your mouth. Boom. You're so dramatic. <laughs> You're so extra, Danny. Alright, you guys. Jose and Stephanie are gone. Can you see me? Yeah. Jose and Stephanie are gone. It is 726. <coughs> yeah. She's been fussing. I don't know what's the problem. Is. What's your problem, you fuzzy pants, grumpy pants? You've been going on all night as well. Hmm? Here. here, here. There, there, there. Just, oh. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put her back. And she nursed quite a while. Oh my god. I don't know what the problem was with this child. Um, last night as well. She told me on Snapchat. You guys saw that she was just crying and uncontrolled. Not uncontrollable, like I'm dramatic. Like she just wanted to be held. That's all she wanted to do. She, I, I carried her. She would go to sleep. But if I put her down, she would start crying. So I put some white noise and womb white noises and it was a success which i'm probably gonna do that right now <coughs> she's just crying for no reason she just wants to be held she was sleeping so well in my arms and when i put her down she starts crying nothing's wrong with you you just want to be held that's it and i'm not gonna hold you maybe i will Emma, look at your toesies. Look at your footsies. Look at your footsies. Secretly, Mama, I don't care about my foot right now. I just want to be held. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. <coughs> you see, if I hold her, she's just fine. But if I put her down, she starts crying. She just wants to be held. That's all she wants. Look, look how sleepy she is. Look at her. She has to be super duper tired and super sleep so I can put her down without her crying. Look at that. Girlfriend is so tired. <laughs> Alright, so Emily's up again. It is 9.04. I don't know what her deal is. I think maybe since last night, um... I was nursing her and I was just so sleepy. I never ever burped her. I don't recall burping her at night. So she probably is gassy right now. So I'm going to make her some chamomile tea. And hopefully that will soothe her. I don't want her to be this grumpy. I am going to take her with me to Stephanie's Christmas school party today. It's from 3 to 4. It's only an hour. I'm going to um, feed her before we go. Um, this is not your normal cry. This is not your normal cry. This is not normal for you. This is not normal for you. This is not your normal cry. Something is hurting you, mama. You didn't even sleep one hour and that's like, what that even heck? Oh, your belly hurts. See, mommy's on her phone. You didn't burn me. There, 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 there. 
Look, look at Finny. Look, Finny's swimming. There. I'm already making your tea, Mama. Hi, Mama. Yep, something hurts her. Usually, if I carry her, she's controlled. But it's not helping. It's not helping her. There, there, there. Oh, my poor baby. Alright, so I kind of burped her. And she burped her a little bit. So she's kind of doing A-OK -okay without the tea. I still have the tea. Where'd it go? I swear it was here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the tea go? Where'd the tea go? Where did the tea go? I swear I left it here. Oh, I brought it over here. Alright, so here's, look, it's still the four ounces. I haven't gave any tea, and it's, plus it's still hot. You can kind of see the steam in it. And, um, she's doing good. I don't want to jinx myself. She's just, like, she's just chilling. I'm watching that. That's what you guys hear. But I'm still going to give it to her. I'm going to give her, like, an ounce or two, because she did burp and fart at the same time. So I'm pretty sure, like I said, she's gassy. So, um... I'm gonna give it to her, but right now it's still hot. I'm gonna go ahead and clean. I keep thinking like it's super late. I imagine it's like 11 or 12, and it's not. It's like only 9.34, and I've done so much, but yet nothing. YouTube-wise, I've done a lot. I edited, I uploaded, I did the thumbnail, got it done. So time went by, I mean, time is going by so slow. Yeah, this is whole day. It went by so slow, I got off the computer, and I was like, oh my God, it's late. It's not even 10 o'clock. It's 11.30. And Emily's finally asleep. I gave her an ounce of the chamomile tea. She farted and burped. So I'm pretty sure she just had a gas. But now she's resting. I got the living room somewhat clean. I just need a vacuum. But I don't want to use vacuum rooms right now. I don't want to risk it. Um, I got dinner started. I'm already starting dinner. I'm just cooking the chicken breast. I'm making tostada thing at tonight. So I want to get the chicken breast cooked and just leave it in the chicken broth there so it doesn't dry out but I want to get it cooked because maybe later on she won't let me <clears throat> probably will because the swing will be here but again I don't think I'll be here bring it upstairs myself I'll have to wait till the day I get here so look my fridge is empty I cleaned it look how empty it is there's nothing in here besides egg breast milk cheese oh, I'm gonna use this for the tostadas tortillas beans juice we don't even have milk strawberries and then fruits and veggies and then here i got more cheese butter rice and then those are the only drinks we have like we're running out of water as well no i actually have water in here yeah i just have to put some in you can put all that in um so yeah i'm gonna make myself some food i haven't had breakfast just because i just wasn't hungry look how sparkly clean this thing is you guys it was so dirty all right you guys so it's now 11 o'clock i'm gonna go ahead and feed emily so I've got two ounces of breast milk there, and I have four over here, and I'm going to feed her that. Just because, ugh, breastfeeding, I'm telling you guys, it's stressing me out. So I'm um, glad we had all that in the fridge. I think those are the last ones. Um, I'm going to feed her that, and then um, burp her, and then vacuum. Get hungry, mama. There's no need for you to be waiting. I can just nurse you. Your mama's just being lazy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so she's falling asleep soon. She had five ounces. She has one left, which I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna go ahead and pump because I am leaking out, and most likely because it's around the time she eats, I have to empty them out, or else I will give more. I won't produce more. All right, so I just pump, 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 pumped three ounces from both sides. Um. That's not really good, but it's not bad. Maybe they weren't completely full, but this is probably why Emily's nursing every hour and a half, two hours. Three. All right, guys, it's 12 o'clock, and Emily is still awake, and I need her to go to sleep. I need you to go to sleep. I need you to go to sleep. Can you go to sleep? Let's change your diaper. You're ready to go. I'm not even going to change you. You're not even going to get out of the stroller. <sighs> I'll see you guys when I'm all ready. The good thing is that I packed the diaper bag in the morning when I was cleaning. So that's ready and set to go. Look at this one. She's wide awake. <laughs> uh, I love you, kid. So I ended up changing her. She threw up on her shirt. And she almost threw up. Well, she did throw up a little bit, but I put the bib on. I think all the movement. But I didn't know she had this dress. I don't know who gave it to her. Zero to three months. And it doesn't really fit her like a dress. But I mean, it's okay. She'll just be sitting down. But oh my god, I didn't even know she had that. 
She also has this that my sister gave her. It's a tutu, which I'm going to use for her two-month uh, picture. So, let's just hope it fits by then as well. Because this one is zero to three months. And look at this. Doesn't even fit you, kid. But you look so cute. She is not going to let me get rid of you. I'm going. Let me just get socks. This child of mine is something nice. By the way, I went like this with the black ones and stuff. Jeez, jeez, jeez. There, 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 there. We're about to leave. You're gonna fall asleep in that car. I'm gonna put my Converse on. I'm just put my hair in a bun. I'm stressing out again. I'm always stressing all the time. I'm full of stress. Mom life. <laughs> That's all it is. Just stress after stress. I'm gonna take this breast milk that I have with me. But I'm also going to take formula because I am honestly, I won't have enough to um, film, film YouTube life, film her life, her, you see, film her belly, film, fill her belly up. So I got four ounces in here, I believe, of water. I'm going to take the formula. I'm going to take it just in case, but before I give her the formula, I'm going to give her this but for that i need a bottle that's the deal it's good for four to five hours four to six hours at room temperature freshly expressed breast milk so it'll be good if she's hungry in the next hour it's good i'm gonna give her this first Process and doesn't wake up and fall into like a three hour nap. Alrighty. So far, she's so good. Is there a 10 in there? Yeah, two 10 bag boxes. Alright, let's go get the water. She's good in there. Yes. We made it. She's still asleep. Yes. That was fast. I just went in and out. It is 12 50. And. I feel like I'm gonna be at Seven School too early. Let's go. Yeah. 
Okay, what's next? There you go. One, two, three, so one. Ooh, you got a pretty snowman. Is this your ornament or what? No, we're moving from here. Okay, let me help you. You got it. You got to press on it. There you go. Press on it. Good job. He did good. Now where did it go? Can you bring your bag? Let's go. Baby sister stay asleep all the time. Good. Emily? did fantastic right my mom she didn't wake up so i was able to help you on everything huh and it's 314 we were out at 310 but i had to take emily out of the stroller put the stroller in the back that took about <laughs> another five minutes we are now heading home i believe i think i'm gonna go to my mom's house for a bit because i'm waiting on the swing and i don't want to go home and then come all the way back for the swing all right so i think it was already delivered i just got a message from target it says your target order has been delivered so if it's there and my mom's not there, I'm just going to grab it and put it in my trunk and I'm out, you know? Um, but if not, then I'm pretty sure it is because, I mean, Target wouldn't said that. I'm going to check the FedEx status right now, but I'm pretty sure it's there, so. Oh, it's time to go for Stephanie from tutoring. <laughs> but Stephanie, you didn't have tutoring today, Mama. You guys, I want to cry right now. Apparently, it was delivered and I checked my mom's security camera. I was like, maybe someone took it. They delivered it at 2.11. Let me tell you guys, we checked the security cameras and the FedEx truck just drove by. Like, I don't know if maybe they dropped it off somewhere else. I'm just, ugh. I honestly want to cry. I've been waiting for that swing. I'm going to cry. I've been waiting for that swing. I paid enough money, fair enough money. And I'm just hoping that it was delivered somewhere else. It was nice people and they'd come and drop it off. But I doubt it because it was at 2.15 when that FedEx truck passed by. And it's already 3 something. I feel like driving down the street and seeing if it's like somebody else's porch and just like walk up and be like, hey, this is mine. This is the address. This is my name. I have my driver's license with me. But I already contact FedEx and they're going to try and contact the driver and see where he dropped it off and send them back. Or uh, check his GPS. His every FedEx truck apparently has a GPS. But I should be getting a call shortly. So they can tell me where the heck it's at. I'm so mad yet so... First is my breast pump. Apparently they knocked on my door and I wasn't there. And I was literally there all day. So they dropped it off at the post office. So I wouldn't have to pick it up over there. But then it wasn't there. I had to wait. So okay, whatever. FedEx lost my package. Now I was like, okay, that way they don't have a whole problem of me not being home. And my mom has FedEx shipments before. They just drop it off in the front door because it's a house. I was like, okay, I'll just get it to my mom's house. And plus, my mom was there all the time. So she'll get it. She'll see her security camera when they're there. It happened again. Like, what the heck is wrong with FedEx, man? This is BS. Here, I'm going to show you guys the footage. Let me... Oh, hold on. All right, you guys, pay attention to that screen. Let me play it. So you guys can see. Watch. It comes by. Look, there's a FedEx. And then it stops, thinking maybe it's going to deliver. Nope, it goes back. Emily. And then it leaves. Like, it just leaves. Look, it's, it didn't even leave anything. Lazy. And I think it just... There, Mama. So... Now that I rewashed it, they couldn't leave it at the wrong house because they literally just stopped in front and left. What I was thinking is maybe they stole my package and since they checked their GPS, she just, or he just, or they just passed by over the front house so the GPS can mark my mom's address and they can be like, yeah, we passed by. But they didn't count on we having security cam, well, my mom having security cameras and having proof that they didn't do anything. They should have just passed by the front, the front uh, house. So I guess so the GPS can mark my mom's address and make it think like they did pass by my house when they never did well, my mom's house and mark the, on the GPS mark the address. You guys clearly saw, clearly it just stopped in front, reversed and left. What the heck? Like, it, no, no. Look at the Christmas lights. Pepe, pa dentro. <laughs> Mom, 
Nani, it's gonna go by itself. Ooh. All right, you guys, it is 6.57 and I'm just leaving my mom's house. A little bombed, a little upset. I'm going home without Emily's baby swing and I was really counting on that today and um, tomorrow as well to kind of help me kind of kind of release some stress. By the way, I didn't use a formula. Emily was super the entire time at school. I did use a breast milk though that I had. I used it at my mom's house just because I didn't want it to go bad. So I used it and then I nursed her so she is asleep right now I'm very bummed I repeat again I'm very bummed but I'm also very sad and upset you know because I it, it's money that I spent it was a pretty good amount of money I'm pretty sure FedEx can give me my money back but then again I will have to wait and I honestly don't want to go through FedEx again because I've been having bad experience with FedEx so far like not good one experience I've had great experience with UPS I had um, great experience with the um, post office driver but FedEx is just not for me it's not anyways let's go home get dinner started well I already have the chicken I just have to shred it put the chipotle sauce and it's done so alright you guys we just got home and I'm nursing Emily and um I'm watching Shane Dawson. I got the food ready, did it ready for the tostadas. The chicken was already cooked. You guys are calling that. All I had to do was shred it and add the chipotle sauce in it. And it's done. So that's done. I'm going to give Stephanie a mix bath. Because she's just coughing, coughing, and coughing. <coughs> oh my goodness. Mom, I'm going to put this on you, okay? I'm gonna put you on a shirt and I don't need you to take it off, okay? I don't want to. You need a shirt on. No. Yeah. I'll put your shirt on. And put this on your chest, okay? And on your back. <coughs> and a shirt. And I'm gonna cover you super, super warm, okay? <coughs> okay. Drink some water so you can make your cough stop a little bit. Drink. <coughs> That'd be nasty. Drink a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, you're gonna cough all night. You're not gonna be able to get rest. You're gonna be so tired. Stop being. Stop making yourself burp, Andrea. Stop being nasty. Look how they tell you guys. Uh, really, babe? It doesn't look as swollen though. On top, you're right. Oh, I'm breathing hard as hell. I see what she cut. I don't want to touch it. But she cut that right. Mm -hmm. From the root then top. Mm -hmm. I thought she cut like half of your toenail. Why do you make that face? Okay. You guys, I made this all sick. I accidentally fell asleep on the couch. Whoa. Oh, it is 9.52. Oh, everybody's in the bed right now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up. Do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.